Hello everybody, my name is Greg Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Techview's Nope. And today I am going to show you how to set up a email button, basically a contact button on a Android application. And that way someone can just simply click a button on your application and it will automatically bring up Gmail or whatever email service they put as their default. And this will put in the uh, whatever email address you want to put in the subject and if you want to put something in the body you can go through that and that way the person doesn't have to copy and paste the email address maybe figure out what the application name is for the subject and that way when you receive the email you know um, you, you know you will get it because the two the, the actual email will be actually in the two box but the subject, the more important thing is the subject itself, it will say whatever the application name is or, or whatever you want it to be. And that way you have a better understanding of uh, what the user, the end user, is talking about. Because sometimes this hasn't happened yet because I, I build pretty stable applications. But assuming if you get a lot of emails on a given application, maybe feature requests or crashes and stuff like that, most likely, and, and uh, I'm pretty sure this happens a lot, is most likely you'll run into a point where you're going to get some emails and the person doesn't say which application they're talking about. So uh, to prevent that, you can basically name the application subject line. But before we jump into that, Let's jump in a quick personal advertisement so you know how to support my channel and that way you can help it grow a lot faster and better than I could do just on my own. But I'll be right back. Thank you for sticking around during this quick transition. Now, if you want to help me out, then there are several quick ways. You can easily leave a like, subscribe, and share to this video and my other videos if it helps you out. Of course, and if it doesn't help you out, then feel free to leave a dislike, but also tell me why so I can fix it in other videos. But as far as things goes, if you want to help out even further, then you can check out my other videos by clicking the top button. This will take you directly to my channel. And if you are mobile, then the links will be in the description for everything that I'm talking about. And if you want to help me financially wise as far as getting better equipment or being able to actually hire a staff, then feel free to check out the left button, which is the PayPal, and the right, which is the Patreon campaign. The PayPal is a simply a PayPal donation, and the right is a simply a Patreon campaign. But without further ado, Let's jump right back into the actual video, which you came here to see. Welcome back. Now, as far as things goes, you obviously do need a button in an area that the user can actually click on, and uh, and it will allow them to, you know, click on it. So let's jump on in and let's go into the class, uh, whatever class is associated with this page. And I haven't really done anything with this class, so let's just set up the email portion of it so we can move on to other tutorials in the future. And, um, and basically what we want to do is define the button. So, button, uh, I don't know, is that that method? Uh, I don't know, E for email equals button find view by ID r dot ID dot email and, and you might notice that this is a a uh, a um, different way of actually defining things where I usually just define everything in, in one little area. I'm just going to define it uh, right here and uh, maybe later on we're going to switch it up to my normal layout. 
but uh, if, if I only got like one object I just define it right here uh, then from here we do a um, uh, uh, set on click listener so you, you probably know how to do this <clears throat> and um, and it's like everything else so you know you do the uh, new view and uh, below here you put in the um, intent so intent then intent just naming something equals new intent again another intent dot action R score sin then the tent dot set type and we're just going to say text slash plain and close that then in there a tent dot put extra intent dot extra email comma new string um, then here you want the brackets not curly brackets but uh, regular brackets and within here you want the quotations so I'm just going to grab my email real quick because this is actually going to be a uh, real deal. And uh, then below here, I, I messed up one thing. Uh, I'll, I'll get to it in a second. The tent. dot put extra tent dot extra subject so this will be the um, the 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 whatever you want the subject to be so for this application um, TRH Android app so, so, I don't know whatever um, the reason why I do application name for the actual subject is so when the person emails me I know what they're emailing me about uh, I mean that, that's what the subject is for is so you know what the actual you know message is about now <coughs> if you want to if you want to and, and keep in mind the the end user they can change this this is just it will automatically go in here it, basically when when they're getting ready to send an email it will actually open up uh, gmail or whatever email service that they use by default it'll put in this email in the in the two area and then it'll put in this in the subject area and they can still go into two or subject area or whatever and still edit that if they want but it just took a couple steps out from them 
made it easier on them, but also made it easy on you so you can ensure that you get the actual email. And on top of that, you know what the email is about or, or chances are the email is about. And real quick, let's uh, fix this one up real quick. And then uh, let's fix this up. So it's supposed to be a open and close bracket, um, curly bracket right here. Sorry about that. And let's see here, the error went away. And then we're going to do a, another intent, and this will be the, the um, body of the email. And um, we're not going to put anything in the body. So this will be purely up to them. Extra intent. Sort of that. Tent dot extra text comma let's close that and if you want to put something in the uh, actual thing like I don't know say for example you're doing a great job or whatever so when they send you an email, say whatever, or, or um, you know, it's already in place. <clears throat> you can do that, but for the most part, I'm, I'm, I leave that up to the uh, person to put whatever they want in the text body. And that the reason for that is because I don't really know what they're going to email me about. Or, and same thing for you, you probably don't know what they're going to email you about. But it um, it basically makes it where the uh, the person they actually have to come up with their own email, have to come up with everything, and um, I'm not I am a bone with everything. But for the most part, um, the subject and the actual two is already spelled out for them, and, and they don't have to worry about that part. They just got to worry about what they want to ask or tell me. So from here, we're going to start the activity. So start activity the tent dot create chooser the tent comma send email Sure, I got everything else right. Yep, and that, that's pretty much it. So yeah, if you got any questions on any of this, then um, then then feel free to leave in the comment section. This is this is it as far as the code goes. Uh, my next video is going to be how to do the website. Uh, as many knows, with uh, with here, it's uh, pretty important. So, if you've got any questions, if you run into any problems, feel free to leave in the comment section. Unfortunately, I don't really have a way to show this because the uh, Gen Motion, it, um, it, I don't think it has uh, Gmail installed onto it, and I don't feel like I'll spend it all day trying to set that one up. But, um, but I advise you just check it out. Make sure this works. So, what you need to do is, like every single time that you actually uh, make an application before you release it out to your client or the public you need to make sure it works so go ahead and uh, play with it on your phone make sure it works it, it should definitely work um, I've used this in several em uh, se several things so one of the things you will see it in is uh, the old old uh, bearing grounds for Beaufort Cemetery You'll see in that application, um, you'll also see it in, I believe, Cart County, um, I, I think I got a tour guide for that area. Um, you might see in some other applications, but yeah, it's it's pretty common for me to actually use this. And, and again, what I do is I just basically make it where th this part automatically goes into two section. This automatically goes into the subject section and they just got to make the body and if they wanted to 
like because it pulls up the actual Gmail application, just throws these things in there. So if they want to change them, then then they can change it pretty easily. But anyways, this has been creep in the founder or a tick view snap. Oh, and uh, one one quick thing is because this um, this this pulls up Gmail, they kind of do have to come back to your application. Um, obviously. Uh, in some cases, uh, depending on what email client they're using on their phone, it, it, once they send the email, it um, it will just take them back to the application. But in other cases, um, it, it won't. And when it does take them back to the actual application, you need to test that part out to make sure that your application isn't like going from square one. It, it goes back to where they just left off. Sometimes there's not much you can do about that, but other times you need, you know, you don't really have a choice. You got to make sure it does that. But again, this has been Craig Bennett, founder and owner of Tech Views and Help. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try to get back to it as quickly as possible. If you've got any tips um, on, on how to do this or anything, feel free to leave that in the comment section and I'll get to that as quickly as possible. Also, now if you like this video please leave a like please subscribe and please share if you dislike then just please leave a dislike and tell me why you're leaving this like so i can fix it in future videos but uh feel free to visit techfusenup.com and also patreon and my patreon campaign and i'll see you in the next video